In this video, I'm going to be showing you the top 8 swords inside of islands. If you guys do enjoy this video, make sure you do drop a like, subscribe and leave a comment down below. And let's get right into it. So if you want to sign up to the Robux giveaway that we're hosting, thank you, thank you so much for 20,000 subscribers. It's absolutely amazing. Let's see if we can get up to 30,000 subscribers and I'll be hosting another Robux giveaway. So if you want to sign into the 20k giveaway, what you want to do is visit the link down in the description and follow the steps. Make sure you are subscribed because I will be checking that manually after when the winner has been chosen. So I wish you all a best of luck and let's get right into the video. So considering there's eight different things on this list, it's fair to say that this sword is the eighth best, okay? It is definitely the worst, okay? I'm, I'm just gonna say that right here. It is the worst sword that you can get in the game. It's also the starter sword that you will get access to. So let's actually have a look at the damage of this. So what we're gonna be doing, we're gonna go worst to best and so on. So if we kill this whole slime, so we're doing 10, 15 and 10 so obviously it's not that good so that's why it makes it into number eight as soon as there's more swords and stuff added i will be updating this video and making a whole new one to show you the best swords however right now there's only currently eight swords including titles that are in this video let's get on into the seventh item so you're going to be surprised what the seventh best item is for the sword. It is actually the iron war axe. So if you want to think about it, the wooden sword is worse and this iron war axe is the second worst that you can actually get in the game. I guess there's probably a couple more in, in the middle, maybe some bow and arrows, maybe that kind of stuff. But we're going melees and obviously titles. So let's get on into this. So this only does around 16 to 24 damage on a good day. So as you can see, we are knocking them out. It is really, really good range. I definitely recommend this if you are new and if you do not have much. However, overall, it had to make it onto the list of the top seven or the worst seven whatever you want to say make sure you leave a like down below number six on this list is the aquarium sword i hope i'm saying that right aquarium i think i'm saying it a little wrong i mean that doesn't really matter right let's let's just get on into this so let's tap it so it does 27 damage so i was actually surprised when i was testing this an hour ago and it's actually better than i thought i was surprised that i didn't actually use this when i was still with a wooden sword so it is especially very very good there's the slime only takes roughly about five shots to be able to kill it let's test it one two three four five six okay so around six so it's not too bad it is definitely worth it if you do not have anything maybe if you got the enough aquarium kind of stuff and obviously if maybe you can't afford anything else and you can get this sword especially get it it's definitely worth it let's get on into number five honestly i was kind of surprised myself but in number five it is actually the rage blade okay it doesn't do as much damage however it does have insane knockback so that what makes it a huge positive and yes it should really be at the top of the list and it, it technically was however we can only have the top seven we can't have joint first place or joint second place this had to make it fifth on the list don't get me wrong this is amazing sword to have it has amazing knockback and there's no chance that a slime will actually hit you if you are using this if you keep your distance of course in number four, it is the normal bog standard legacy spellbook. So this spellbook does 60 damage like the title that we have, that we all know and love. However, obviously this has been massively duped. However, it is extremely under underrated. So it, yes, it is a distance weapon and it is very, very difficult if you're trying to hit slimes like you can see. And I'm not doing a too good of job at it. I mean, it does 60 damage. It's insane if you have a big target. Obviously, the smaller targets, maybe you have to rethink what sword you're using or what ranged bow or thing you're using. However, the one thing that lets this down is it doesn't have any kind of recoil. You can't massively turn it into an automatic. You almost have to click and this one this particular book doesn't actually 
affect enemies around it. So that's why it hit number four. In number three, it is the Tidal Spellbook. So it's about the same, however, it's a lot more different. It does less damage, however, it affects targets all the way around. So if you want to take out a lot, so it does 20 to 60, so 60 to the main target and 20 to the surrounding. So as you can see, look, look how amazing that is. We can hit all targets around. So if you're a new player, I mean, people drop these in lobbies, people drop these in people's games just for free because so many people have them. So if you aren't, if you do not have one of these, make sure you go grab one and this has made it in number three. In number two, it's the Gilded Steel Hammer. So this Gilded Steel Hammer is definitely one of the best on this list. So it does 37 on a good day and it does 27. 25 normally so this is absolutely insane look i could just spam this and they're instantly dead okay it doesn't have as good as a knockback as obviously the fully worth getting this i didn't regret the decision of making this even though i had the rage blade or other kind of weapons that could kind of make it the same this was definitely made my life so so much easier on this game so if you do not have this and if you are thinking about getting it it's definitely worth making this because it won't let you down obviously unless if you have the the sword that is in number one so actually let's get on into number one so number one it is new cactus spike so these have been massively crafted and massively duped you could pick them up for around a million to 80k now so it's absolutely crazy people are still selling them for insane amounts like 10 mil to 25 mil however try getting it as cheap as possible so as you can see, we're doing 40 to 60, but we're getting more 60s out of 40. So pretty much, look, all we have to do is tap this. So it doesn't have any kind of jump back like the Rage Blade. So that gives it a huge negative. So you continuously have to be on your feet and continuously move around. Otherwise, it will just hit you. But if you get close enough, this is an insane. Let's see how far we have to get. Okay, that's, that's decent. That's decent range if you get far enough away and if you are good on your target. But look how amazing this is. It takes it takes them longer to respawn than you kill them. So it's absolutely an insane thing. All you have to do is get 20 cactuses and visit the last island to get that blueprint and you would have unlocked it. So the blueprint isn't an easy way. If you complete all your challenges for for about a week then you'll be able to get enough coins to be able to get this print. so due to obviously people duping and stuff like that this has become more common but i do think that people are more mass crafting it than duping it because it is extremely easy if you got the cactuses to be able to do that so I do understand that people's opinions may be the titles better than the cactus spike or the rage blade is the best because it has a superpower charge up but these are purely my my top eight best so this is what i'll be using and if i didn't have that then i would be using the hammer that's the kind of thing i was basing it off of so guys i'm gonna leave this video here if you guys did enjoy this video and if you did enjoy make sure you do hit a like subscribe and leave a comment down below thanks ever so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one peace out